Hi everyone, so I'm going to use three chemical tests as a way of differentiating between each of these structures. There's one of them that I'm not going to be able to 100% say which functional group it does have, but I'm assuming that I would know that I have these four molecules at least, and none of the techniques that I'm going to use will tell me how many carbons are within each structure. All these tests do is identify individual functional groups. So the first one over here that I've got is I have an alkene group. So it's an unsaturated molecule that's got a C double bond C. Now what I would use for this is bromine water. So bromine is a liquid at room temperature. I would use bromine water for this and the colour change would go from orange to colourless. And the mechanism that we can have a look up in another video for that is electrophilic addition. So that would be an electrophilic addition or an addition reaction and it would go from orange to colourless to prove the presence of the C double bond C. Moving my attention down here, I can see that I've got the Cl halogen on my molecule, so I've got a haloalkane down here. Now for this one, I've got a choice at the start. I can either use H2O and heat it, but it does take a while, or you can use NaOH, which is a much quicker reaction because of the OH- nucleophile. Now either way, what you also need to add here is some AgNO3, because what's going to happen is the Cl- is going to be kicked off from the structure in a mechanism called nucleophilic substitution. And you're going to react that with the Ag plus ion from here, from AgNO3, because this is water soluble. And it's gonna form a precipitate of AgCl, which is a white precipitate. If I had a Br or an I on here, the color of this precipitate and the formula of it would change, but it's the same essential set of steps. Just over here to the top right, what I've got is an example of a primary alcohol. So what I can use is an oxidizing agent of acidified potassium dichromate. There we go. Use sulfuric acid for the acidified feature here. And the color change for this one would be orange to green. And we can remember that with OMG, orange makes green. I would need a distillation or a reflux for this, but generally the simple way of describing it is to heat under distillation or heat under reflux, but just applying heat as a chemical test would be okay, although we should really be careful, especially with the acidified potassium dichromate. Now down here, there isn't really a test I can use for this one because unlike the primary alcohol, this is a tertiary alcohol, since the carbon, which is bonded to the OH, is bonded to one, two, three other carbons, that makes it a tertiary. This won't react with acidified potassium dichromate, it won't react with bromine water, it won't react with the NaOH and AgNO3, but I suppose that's the point. If the other three do, and this one won't. And so if this came up in the exam, I wouldn't just leave it out, I would point out that this would give negative test results for all the other tests. Pointing out that this would give a negative test result is an important thing to observe and translate to the examiner. I'm going to leave you with the rest of the organic year one playlist now, and until then, happy revising.